All right, guys, it is October 24th. I got one more package to open. Um, bought a bush hog for my mini skid many years ago. And every once in a while, you have to get new blades. So I called uh, Travis at <coughs> Quick Attach, and he's no longer there. So my salesman is no longer there. All right. I have a new representative. Every time I get used to ordering stuff from somebody, they leave. All right, let's see what this packing slip has to say. If you guys have a mini skid, uh, bush hog attachment is so handy. FedEx ground. Can't even pronounce that last name. Gabby Mars Zygos. I don't know. Um, one blade kit to Tree Life. One LLC. And they shipped it to the correct address this time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They gave me two castle nuts. Aren't those cool? And some pins. And they gave me new bolts and washers. Woohoo! Then the pins go through there and the castle nuts. Another one. And more washers. Yay! And last but not least, new blades. Oh, yeah. They're not very sharp, but look at them bad boys. I have chopped cinder blocks in half and kept going. Of course, I didn't mean to. I just they're in the brush. Look at that sucker. And uh, they're about a hundred bucks a set, I think. But you can wear these down to like <laughs> they'll get rounded. This these tips will. That's the first thing to go. This is where it strikes first. So mine are like rounded <laughs> then you can flip it around and then round that side so you get quite a bit of use out of these suckers especially if you don't hit a bunch of rocks and uh, stuff like that if you're just cutting down saplings and high grass and weeds and stuff they last a while but that was one of the best investments i ever made was a uh, bush hog for my mini skid because it is incredible how much material you can get down in a short time now we have two of them we have a 40 42 inch and a, like a six foot <coughs> off of a big normal size full size skid steer and they are like awesome you have a big job and you just want to come in and clean it clean out the underbrush and stuff before you start working it doesn't take long and it uh, it's just they're just awesome and they're not when I bought mine I bought mine on sale probably almost 10 years ago and it was like 2,500 bucks I wish I would have bought two or three of them um, now they're like six thousand dollars I saw one yesterday, 6000 for a used one. <laughs> I'm just like, holy Moses. Everything's went up. I'm thinking about building my own because it doesn't cost, I know it doesn't cost $6,000 to build one. Um, the most expensive part is the motor. Um, and then the second most uh, expensive part is the uh, gearbox. The gearbox you can get for like 
two hundred bucks and the motors like four or five hundred but still steel doesn't cost that much in fabricating so anyway that might be a project in the future but I already have two but I'd like to have another 42 inch uh, that way we can put them on both machines and uh, do uh, smaller jobs but all right guys if you like this video crush like button I'll get the contact information if you're interested but yeah if you can find a mini brush hog for your mini skid they're like worth their weight in gold have an awesome day.